Hello there, my name's Scott. Today I'm going to be doing a review on the Bombshell mod, which I received from www.esigwizard.com. Before I start, I must point out I did receive a fee of charge for the purpose of conducting the review. My opinion upon that remains true, honest and accurate, as always. Okay, so let's go straight ahead and show you in a bit more detail. Okay, so the Bombshell mod is basically made up of just sort of two main parts. You have the main body here, which is uh, the section which holds the battery. And you have this section here which will have the, uh, the mangle switch and it will have the, uh, your 510 uh, connection. The main body of the bombshell is basically sort of constructed out of a, a very solid uh, and thick sort of lump of metal. And like it's, it's so sturdy, it's going to take so much to sort of cause this any sort of damage. And as you can see also, you know, the threads on it, really nice thick heavy duty threads. And again, you know, they're going to last such a, such a long time. It's going to really take a lot to, to sort of cause those threads any sort of damage. Uh, it's, it comes in sort of uh, various colours. Obviously, this is the uh, the black version, and uh, you know it's not a fingerprint magnet too. Well, it's not too bad anyway. Uh, but the actual paint job is a really nice paint job, and I've you know, I've had this for about a month now, and um, I've not noticed any sort of paint sort of chipping off it at all. Right down the bottom there, you may not be able to see because it's a bit dark, but you've got the spring there for the uh, the contact for the battery. And also you have a, a vent hole here, which so, you know, if you do happen to have a, a dodgy battery that's sort of emitting any nasty gases, at least that way the, uh, the gases have got somewhere sort of venting out of the uh, device. The switch section has a, a brass switch. Uh, now over time this does sort of start looking a little bit grubby, but if you've got one of the, like the Cape Cod polishing cloths, literally you've just got to Go like that a couple of times and it comes up looking like brand new again. So um, that's not sort of uh, too much of a major factor. And as you can see, you know, it has got a like a, a section sort of, uh, sort of carved out of it, which is sort of obviously trying to help prevent uh, any accidental activation by trying to make that sort of flush. But as you can see, you know, it does still sit proud a little bit there. So if it is in your pocket, you know, and it rests against something, it could possibly still go off. Uh, on, underneath here, again, really nice thick uh, threads. So there's no chance of any sort of damage being caused there. And in the centre there you have your contact for the positive end of the battery. And on here you have your 510 connection. Um, because it is a 510 connection, obviously you can use the 510 atomizers, 510 cartomizers. Plus it will also uh, take the 306 atomizers as well. The bombshell mod can be used with either a 18650 um, battery, which is uh, you can get these in really high milliamp power. This is 2500 milliamp power, so it's going to last you a, uh, a really nice length of time. Or you, if you'd like to um, do the 6 volt vaping, you can use two of the CR123 batteries. Uh, me personally, I much prefer to sort of vape low resistance atomizers just using like a standard sort of voltage. So to assemble the mod, all you have to do is make sure you put the uh, negative end in first. That goes down there. Then you get your switch, sec switch section and screw that on top. Screws together really nicely because you've got really good quality threads there. And then you just get your atomizer. And this, uh, I'm just using a, a, a low resistance 306 atomizer. And that screws into the top. And that is your um, fully assembled bombshell mod. Uh, very, uh, it's a nice looking device. Obviously, it is basically just a tube, but you know, as tubes go, it's a very nice tube. Uh, so uh, let's go and see what it actually vapes like. Okay, so that is the uh, the bombshell mod. So what I do now is I go ahead and uh, obviously show you in action. Um, now, recently I've been using sort of cartomizers all the time. I am actually going to go back to using like a sort of a, like a standard atomizer. I'm just going to be direct dripping some e liquid. I'm using a low resistance 306 atomizer. I've just got some sort of tobacco 18 uh, milligram strength e liquid. So there's a few drops there. And this is just using the 18650, 250 milliamp hour battery. So it's just sort of 3.7 volts. As you see, now it produces a very really nice amount of vapour. Obviously, uh, because of these sort of devices, there are sort of quite a few 
sort of variables that are going to sort of you know, be the deciding factor on how much vapor you get. For example, it's got the uh, 306, uh, uh, it's got the 510 connection, so you can use the 510 sort of standard atomizers, the 510 low resistance atomizers, 306 standard and low resistance atomizers, plus like the you know, your car atomizers, your low resistance car atomizers. So it is going to be sort of um, dependent on what sort of uh, atomizer or cartomizer you're actually using and also to a certain extent as well the uh, the actual sort of type of uh, e-liquid uh, that you like to use as well for example like VG or veg vegetable glycerine e-liquid will produce like a thicker and denser vapor and uh, a propylene glycol liquid will so you know but regardless I like a you know it is a nice amount of vapor and like I said this is just with a, a low resistance 306. Now, so it doesn't come with any sort of, you know, carts or e-liquid, anything like that, you know, so I am just um, uh, just using some of my own sort of e-liquid. And again, like, you know, the flavour of the e-liquid is going to be dependent on what sort of uh, atomizer you're using. But for me personally, you know, I find that the, uh, the 306 atomizers are really good for producing a nice amount of vapour plus sort of plenty of flavour too. Yeah. Throw heat on it, again, it's going to be sort of dependent on what atomizer that you're using, but you know, I'm getting a really nice, uh, strong throw heat. I personally find that the, like, the higher the nicotine content of the e liquid, like the stronger or the harsher the throw heat is. And this is 18 milligrams strength, and that's giving me a, a really nice little solid kick in the back of the throat. The uh, battery life on it, you can use two, uh, I think it's CR123 batteries if you want to sort of vape at six volts. I don't really like a uh, six volt vaping at all. I much prefer to sort of use like a standard sort of battery and then just use like a low resistance atomizer. And uh, I'm using the 18650, which is a 250 milliamp hour battery. Now they do take, uh, you know, forever to sort of, you know, to charge, especially sort of like dead till full. Uh, but once they are fully charged, like for me, on my sort of the amount that I vape, and I'm getting a good sort of two, two and a half days worth of vaping out of it. Obviously, if you're a, a very heavy vapor, you know, you're sort of constantly sort of chain vaping, you're not going to get that length of time. But I think even if you're like, you know, you're really caning it, I would have thought a, a 250, uh, 250 uh, 2,500 milliamp hour battery even, uh, we know, would give you a, like, you know, at least a sort of day's worth of sort of pretty heavy vaping. The, uh, the switch on it, you know, it feels nice, it's nice and comfortable, um, nice brass switch there. Uh, it does sort of fade a little bit over time, but, you know, you've got a, if you've got one of those sort of Cape Cod polishing cloths, you know, literally you just got to rub it once and all the dirt's gone and it comes up looking nice and shiny again. Uh, you know, it fires up every single time, you know, you press a button and it activates. And, um, it, you know, it is, even though, like, you have got that sort of cut-out section there, it is still protruding a little bit. So, you know, if it's in your pocket, if you could fit this in your pocket, then you use that sort of slight chance you could sort of, uh, you know, activate on its own. You know? So, again, if you're going to sort of carry it around, it might be worthwhile just sort of disconnect the atomizer a couple of turns just to make sure there's no sort of connection there. Uh, but, you know, the, uh, apart from that, the, uh, the switch uh, hits every time. No, overall though, it's a, um, you know, it's a really nice device, it's just, you know, it's just something that is just absolutely rock solid, and I think, you know, you're going to be really hard pressed about it, sort of cause this much damage, I mean, you could probably run over that with a, with a tank and it still wouldn't, um, and it'll still work perfectly fine, I mean, like, it's, it's not fancy, it's not something you're going to sort of stick on your mantelpiece and admire from afar, uh, but, you know, it is something that, you know, I could quite easily see this sort of lasting you a lifetime, really, because there's, there's little that can go wrong with it, I said it's absolutely rock solid. It really is a uh, you know a solid device. You now very sort of similar to the uh, the silver bullet. You know in, in a good way. Um, you know there's not a great deal else I can really sort of tell you about it really. And if you want something that's sort of you know sort of pretty reasonably priced really, and like like I said something that not too flash, but you just want something that's going to sort of work. And uh, also you know especially if you're say for example you're in like the building trade, you need something that can take a lot of knocks. Then uh, you know this will you know hit the spot every time really. 
Uh, getting on to the scores then for the uh, for the looks. I mean, like, well, you know, it's a tube with a, like, a little brass dot in it, you know, so it's looks wise, it's nothing too fancy, but so I'll give the looks like a 7 out of 10. Uh, the, um, <coughs> excuse me, uh, vapor production, you know, it's, it's going to depend on what, what voltage you're vaping at, what sort of uh, atomizers you're using, what sort of cartomizer you're using. So I'll give that my average score of 8 out of 10. Uh, for the uh, throw here, you get a nice strong throw here, but again, there are some, quite a few variables there, so that'll be again my sort of average score of 8 out of 10. Uh, the uh, battery life, it's got to be a 10 out of 10, it's excellent, the battery life. Uh, the uh, switch performance, uh, you know, the switch works absolutely perfectly, nothing wrong with it, it's nice and comfortable to use as well. But there is that slight chance that you could uh, sort of self activate if it presses against something in your pocket. So, <coughs> excuse me, so I'll give the, uh, the switch an 8 out of 10. You know, if you fancy trying one out for yourself, then go along to www.esigwizard.com. Uh, type in this code at checkout and they'll give you a 12.5% discount every time you purchase from them. Thank you very much for watching and also come along and visit my website at www.esigreviews.com. That's e-sig-reviews.com. Cheers guys, happy vaping. See you later.